Hello folks. Today we are looking at two classic mid-school Hoffman BMX bikes, the Resistance and the SD4. The Resistance and the SD4 were part of a range of Hoffman complete BMXs from the late 90s to the early 2000s called the Prodigy series, which were aimed at beginner and intermediate riders. I recently picked up this 2002 Resistance just as you see it here. It was listed on eBay for just £110 and it's all original apart from the seat and the pedals. Designed for street, vert and flat riding, the Resistance was an entry level bike and it had a Chromo down tube, Chromo Prodigy forks, Hoffman Prodigy bars, an Aurig gyro, the classic Hoffman alloy stem, flame handlebar grips and Diacom MX levers, a Hoffman flame seat, skid mark tyres, chromo one piece cranks and a steel rise above chain ring. She was a heavy old girl. There are eight other resistance on BMX Museum dating from 2001 to 2003. The resistance was also available in yellow, blue, black and orange. Since getting the bike, all I've done so far is change the seat. But at the end of the video, I will show you how the bike looks when it's been rebuilt with some pro spec parts. Matt Hoffman actually began his riding career with Skyway. Here he is on the right, age 15, in a Skyway magazine advert from the mid 1980s. The text reads, when it comes to freestyle, I wouldn't trust any other bike. Skyway's the best. Matt Hoffman, AFA 14 to 15 year old expert ramp champion. Hoffman then moved to Harrow and by 1988 was the world's number one amateur rider. He turned pro in 89. In 1991, aged only 19, he started Hoffman Bikes and began developing the first Condor prototype frames. These Condors were available to buy by 1992 and is still one of the coolest BMXs ever made. The SD4 was released around 1999. This is my one as I picked it up from eBay for £200. It's a slightly earlier model than the Resistance and has 10mm dropouts at both ends. It's also a higher spec than the Resistance, featuring a full chromo frame, Hoffman jumping bars and high roller wheels. The original, as shown in this catalogue photo, came with a Hoffman drop nose seat and an alloy Hoffman chain ring. Mine has this velo seat on at the moment and I've added a rise above chain ring, as well as some Alex rims and some Hoffman skid mark tyres. It also came with this very cool purple fishbone gyro, which is not original to the bike. So this is how my SD4 looks now. In the original catalogue, the press statement read, what does SD4 stand for? We have no idea, but that's what the boss said to name it, and it sounds pretty tech. The SD4 is a great starter or second bike for the beginner or intermediate level rider. The SD4 is designed to be comfortable on any terrain, including street, park, vert, flat, or even dirt. It comes with a 100% chromo frame and is ready to rock out of the box. There are 13 other SD4s on BMX Museum right now. The SD4 was available in various colours, including chrome, black, gold and blue. So there you have it, an almost original, very cool 2001 Hoffman Prodigy Series SD4 Survivor. And here's the resistance again, built up with some better parts, including slam bars, Alex Supra Pro wheels, three-piece cranks and a Hoffman alloy chain ring. Thanks for watching. 